Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 8th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24, sample question paper set 2 for mathematics standard with subject code 041, section A which is multiple choice questions where each question is of one mark. Now this question is from the triangles chapter. In given figure, PQRS is a parallelogram. If AT is equal to AQ is equal to 6 cm, and AS is 3 cm and TS is 4 cm. Then we have to find out the value of X and Y. As you can see in the four options, X and Y values are given. We need to choose which is the correct option. Now let us come back to this given diagram. Here it is mentioned that PQRS is a parallelogram. That means PQ is going to be parallel to RS. And as we can see from the diagram, ST is an extension of RS. That is, we are extending RS to form ST. That means PQ also becomes parallel to ST. Now, let us concentrate on PQATS. Let me highlight it. So here, let us concentrate on the highlighted lines. As I said, line PQ is parallel to line TS. And the line TQ acts as a transversal line cutting the two parallel lines at point Q and point T. We can easily say that the angle T is equal to angle Q because of the alternating angle property of parallel lines. Similarly, if we look at angle S, angle S becomes equal to angle P. That is again alternating angles property of the parallel lines. Lastly, the angle A is equal to angle A that is vertically opposite angles are equal. So now the triangle ATS is similar to the triangle APQ by angle 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 criterion. So let me redraw these two triangles. So here I have redrawn the two triangles. First I have drawn the small triangle ATS as you can see. Now let us label the second triangle. So angle A was equal to angle A. So we are going to mark angle A where the angle A was there in the first triangle. Now next, let us look at angle S. Angle S was equal to angle P. So wherever angle S is there, I'm going to write angle P. And finally, angle T was equal to angle Q. So wherever I have written T, I'm going to write Q. The next thing is to write down the side lengths. Now AS was 3 cm, so let us write here 3. ST was 4, so let us write here 4 and AT was 6 cm. So let us write here 6. Similarly for the second triangle we are going to write AP. So this is going to be X and PQ this is going to be Y and this AQ was given as 6. And these two triangles are similar as we saw from the angle 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 similarity criterion. Now for the similar triangle we know that the corresponding sides are going to be proportional. So here I'm going to take AP. So AP is X over its corresponding side is 3. So let me write here 3 is equal to. Now I'm going to take AQ. So it's going to be 6. And from the other triangle, its corresponding side is 80, which is nothing but 6. So 6 and 6 divides each other and we get 1. And taking 3 on the other side of the equal to sign, 3 multiplies with 1, giving you X equal to 3. So this is 3 cm. Now we can already see that only one option has x equal to 3. So it has to be option D. But let us also find the value of y to confirm the answer. So x we got it as 3. Now similarly taking the y. So here pq is y. So let me write y over its corresponding side is st which is 4 is equal to. I am going to take again aq which is 6 over its corresponding side is 80, which is 6 again. So 6 and 6 cancels again, giving us 1. And 4 multiplies with 1, giving us 4. So y is equal to 4 centimeter. So here we can see that it is option D. x equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. So in this example, we first established a relationship between the angles using the properties of the parallel lines and the alternating angles related with it. And then we established that the two triangles are similar to each other. 
and after we found out they are similar we used the sides are proportional to each other concept to find out the value of x and y i hope you have understood all the steps and like the video if you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching